Hi, I'm Holly Perkins, and guess what? You can teach an old dog a new trick. See this here braid? I did it myself. I just learned to braid. I'm actually quite proud. It's so much fun. Most people learn it when they're 12, and I learned it in my 40s. There you go. Okay, the number one rule in weight loss is, drum roll, calories. I know that there are experts and um, diet book authors that say it does not come to come down to calories, but hear me clearly. When it comes to weight loss, calories in versus calories out do make the difference. If you are trying to lose body fat in order to lose body weight, if you are not decreasing your body fat, then you got to look at your calories. We are basically just machinery and we run on energy, which is calories. So the number one rule is you have to be at what we call an energy deficit. You need, need to be taking in fewer calories than you are expending during a day. You can either do that by eating fewer calories or eating the same amount of calories and burning more off through exercise, or you can do a combination, which is really what we recommend. You eat a little less, 300 fewer calories per day, and you exercise more, an hour a day. That is the best way to get into an energy deficit. Now, if your goals are something else, if your goals are not weight loss, it's a whole other conversation. We're specifically talking about burning off body fat. So there are actually three things that you wanna remember. Number one is calories, calories, calories. Number two, which is um, a condition to that number one, is how are your calories during the day split up between protein, carbohydrate, and fat, which are the three macronutrients. You want them to be mostly divided up through the day. So it's about 35, 35, and 30 percent each of those three macronutrients. Now, if you're at a calorie deficit, but you're eating all carbohydrates during the day, it makes it harder to lose weight. If you've got your calorie deficit in check and you have those three macronutrients balanced out, you can actually eat more. So if you get your macronutrients, I refer to it as macros, if you get your macros balanced or strategized in certain ways, you can actually eat more and that is why I always start with calories, then I break down the macronutrients for my clients. Then the third is food quality. If you are eating high quality, amazing nutritious food, you can also eat more. So yes, it does come down to calories. However, you're gonna get to eat more if you're eating fresh fruits and vegetables. You've gotta be eating some green vegetables like spinach, kale, collard greens, asparagus, broccoli. I could go on and on. Get as much green in as you can. Eat high quality foods that you cook at home. Minimize your packaged foods. Really focus on high quality. Make sure you're getting a balance of carbohydrate, protein, and fats throughout the day. And make sure your calories are at a deficit, which means you're eating fewer than your body needs. You set all those up perfectly Weight loss is a piece of cake. I promise I've done it a million times. It's just getting all of those pieces to the puzzle in to create a beautiful picture, which is you and your life. That's what I have for you today. I'm sure you have a million questions because I know this does get a little bit technical. Um, please leave your questions and your thoughts in the comments below and we will get back to you. Have a great afternoon.